My name is Sebastian, and I'm going to give you a brief introduction into the paper Detecting Generated Native Ads in Conversational Search. This paper presents research by the following people of the Vivus Group. The paper focuses on search engines such as Microsoft Bing's Copilot or UChat that use large language models for conversational search. A central difficulty in the operation of these search engines is that LLMs are expensive both in training as well as their deployment at scale. Our hypothesis is that the providers of these systems might eventually turn to advertising as a source of revenue. And these types of ads that would be injected directly into the response of the chatbot would be very difficult to avoid as the classic ad blocking systems don't work on the semantic level. As a data set for this type of classification task currently does not exist, we created a new data set by envisioning what such an advertising system might look like. The starting point for that are keyword queries, keyword queries that we obtained from an SEO service. These queries come from one of 10 meta topics, and these meta topics are commercial fields such as banking or gaming. Gaming would be the example here on the slides. We then provide these queries to both Microsoft Bing's Copilot as well as UChat and obtain two responses for each search engine and query. After that, we filter for English responses with between four and 12 sentences and end up at roughly 11,000 responses. The final step is then to inject advertisement into the responses. For that, we define pairs of a query with either a brand or a product, as well as what kind of qualities should be advertised. So in the example here, we have the PlayStation 5 and the quality being the 4K resolution. These pairs are given to GPT-4 and then GPT-4 injects the advertisement into the response. We tested two methods for identifying the ads. The first one takes the responses and splits them into pairs of sentences. And then we fine tune sentence transformers on the binary classification task of identifying ads in a sentence pair. The other method that we tested is using the responses and providing them to an instruction tuned LLM and asking it to identify if there is an ad in there as well as what kind of ad it is. The details of our experiments as well as the results can be found in the paper.